Hi, how are you? Uh, today in this session, we are going to talk about conjunctions adding and. Conjunctions are joining words that join two sentences, two phrases, two words, example, but, and, yet, or, because, nor. These are all the words that are joining two sentences into one if we add them up. I'll take you to examples first in order for you to understand it better. Let's look at number one sentence. Jane ate lunch. Jane drank water. Now, can you see there are Jane repeating two times? So if I want to join, I will write Jane ate lunch and drank water. So instead of writing Jane two times, I just wrote Jane one time and then I wrote ate lunch from the first sentence, joined um, and um, and the full stop goes away and then drank water. So Jane ate lunch and drank water. Let's look at the second sentence. Mia played hockey. Second sentence, John played hockey. Now, can you see there are two people doing the same thing? So if I'm going to join the sentence, I can write Mia and John played hockey. Full stop. Don't forget your full stops. So instead of writing play, instead of writing play, play two times. I just wrote played one time and, and instead of writing hockey two times, I wrote hockey one time. So I wrote Mia and John played hockey. So Mia and John were the only two things that were different. So that's how, that's where I joined and. Now let's look at the third sentence. Oranges are fruits, pears are fruits. Now, what are the two sentence? Now, what are the two things that are different in this sentence? Oranges and pears. Otherwise, there are and are that is same. Then there are fruits and fruits that are same. So, if I am going to join it by using and, I can write oranges and pears are fruits. All right. Now, can you see, uh, hang on, let's just let me get my pen. All right. Now, can you see peer was capital over here because it was coming after the full stop. But now since I have joined the sentence using an, this P became small. So you have to remember when we are canceling this stop sign and putting and between it, the next sentence beginning letter will become small unless the it's a proper noun or an I that is coming. Okay, let's look at the fourth sentence. The nurse is gentle, the nurse is kind. Now let me just go over here. All right. The nurse is gentle and kind. Okay, can you now see that I have nurse and nurse, the and the, is and is. They're all repeating. So instead of writing it two times, I'm just going to write one time. The nurse is gentle, the nurse is kind. So I wrote and over here, and kind was the only word that was different. When we're joining the sentence with and, the second sentence beginning letter will become small as now it's a single sentence, unless it's a proper or I, proper noun or I. All right. That's it for now. That's it for now. So see you in the next sessions.